Good everyone and welcome to day 211, turn 211 of your daily Civ 7 news update. We have a little news today, news that is at least news to me. Uh, we have this game guide page that someone's linked on Reddit which lists out some of the civs that they've revealed so far. So in the antiquity age we have uh, the Axum, Egypt, Maya, Mariah and Rome. And down in the exploration age we have the Shawnee. Apologies in advance if I've just butchered all of those names. Now if you go in there, uh, this is a bit like the Civilopedia entry really, um, showing you the various traits that these civs are going to have, unique units and whatnot. What I think is particularly interesting is, one, there is a, there's just a lot more unique infrastructure here in general, I feel, compared to previous civ games. Uh, it almost feels like a modded uh, civ in that sense. And two, every civ seems to have a unique civilian unit, which is really cool. Uh, I always thought that something like, you know, Poundmaker in Civ 6, could have something like a unique trader unit, and that's exactly the kind of thing we're getting here. You can see the Mariah, for example, have a unique settler. Very cool. Also at the bottom there, each Civ has a bonus towards building a wonder in the game. The most obvious example for this is Egypt has a bonus towards building the pyramids. Uh, for this Civ, it's the Sanchai Stupa. Interesting idea. Anyway, I'll drop the link to the game guide down below. As always, I would encourage you to watch those other content creators that actually got to play the game. Not that I'm mad or anything, you know, not at all. Uh, I'm happy for him, really. Anyway, until tomorrow, thanks for watching.